it doesn't feel like a year. Um, on one hand, time's gone so quick, and then on the other hand, it's so long since I've touched her or kissed her. Um, there's no way it's to describe the depths of the way I'm feeling and the way my family is still feeling. Um, everything in our family life's changed. Um, I don't see my nieces or my nephews still. I'm still finding it really hard. Um, so everything in our family really has changed. The old dynamics changed. You can't tell something's missing. She's a chatterbox. She's a live wire. She's a dear devil. She has a heart to go old. Do anything for anyone. She would. She had no fear. She'd go on the ice rail coast and get come on up with me. And yeah, she was just like a little. She was just a little ball of energy. Just a beautiful little girl. The Ava White Foundation we've set up to help get bleed packs in our city. So right now our aim was um, to get 50 bleed packs across Liverpool City. We're more than halfway to our target. The kits that you can use for, when, for trauma bleeding or if you've been hurt with a knife, they contain the gauze, the two heart gauze, chest gauze, stomach gauze. So if they need to be used, either if you've been uh, with a knife or a car crash or any other medical in public, they can be used for too. Um, they do save lives, it's being proven also. Um, when we are given the bleed control kits out, you will get training that comes with it. The importance of these bleed packs is to make sure they're out there so we don't have another child die on our street. So another, another mother hasn't got to sit here and be feeling the way I'm feeling every day. The Ava White Foundation's been going for about five months now. What I've learned is the amount of knife crime that's happening, um, the amount of people that's dying on a daily basis due to knife crime. Even the way children can well, as a lesson, young teenagers are concealing knives. Um, like all today, they see a recent surge in young girls going in with wounds to the chest, the armpits. Because when they're out and they're with boys, people are passing them to them, they're running away, and then they're going home to their mums and dads, and they're it. You know, what, what, why is it? So, well, to me, it's. Why, what is it to the kids that's so appealing with knife crime? What is it? On Saturday, we've got a walk coming up um, that's with the Ava White Foundation, Adam Ellison Foundation, Danny's Place, Knife Savers, and John Moore's University students, nurses, and doctors. So, we're all doing a walk around town to make people aware of knife crime and what's going on. So the money we're raising on Saturday after walk will be going towards bleed packs. If you like any information on the Avery White Foundation, go to all of our social media pages. It's at the Avery White Foundation. Check who they're hanging around with. Even when they're coming in overnight, check the pockets. If you know they're hanging around with kids that are going off I'm going on the wrong roads, get them into the gym, there's boxing gyms, there's youth clubs, get them into doing something, just get them off the streets so you're not sitting either burying your child or waiting for to go to a jail to see your child. Think about the consequences. Think about your future, whether you're going to be sitting in a jail cell or whether you're going to have been killed with your own knife. Eight times out of ten, you're killed with your own knife. 
it's so easy to carry a knife in your pocket but then fall and stab yourself. So if your friends are asking you to carry a knife, I think you need to go and get new friends because a real friend wouldn't ask you to carry a knife. Speak to your parents, a guardian, a teacher. There is people out there that you can't speak to. And there's only one ending. By carrying a knife, you're either going to end up dead or in jail.